Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool Unreal Engine plugin. This is the project I was working on in the last video. Um, but to get the plugin, in so what the, what the plugin is is it may, allows you to show a website in your game. So let's say you know when the player hits an object that's right here it shows a browser with a website on it that's basically what we want to make in this video so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna make another coin that's a blue coin because in the last video well they're not really coins they're kinda like boxes uh, what I did was I made a score thing over here so when you hit the green ones it goes up by one and when you hit the red ones it goes down by one so I'm gonna make a blue one blue one and every time you hit a blue one it will show your web browser so to start we need to get the plugin working and the plugin is made by Unreal Engine so edit so go edit plugins like I just did and search um, web browser and press enabled and then you'll have to restart your engine once your engine loads again, you'll see this screen where you just left off, where you just left off. So you'll, uh, so you're now back in here, and you have the plugin enabled. So I'm just gonna create another blueprint class and an actor. And if you don't know what an actor is, it's basically an object you can put in the scene somewhere, and you can control what it does in the code, which will be in this object right here. And we'll call this. Um, show show web site okay and so let's double click this and uh, we're just gonna make it so that when the player touches this cube that's gonna be here um, it'll show the website so let's just make a blue material by right clicking and pressing material and call this blue then double click the blue and press three hold three on your keyboard down while you click double click the black and change the B to 100 and hit OK drag this into the base color hit save and once it saves you'll be able to open this one back up and drag the blue onto the material here okay so n then go to click on yeah so scroll down a bit and go to where it says collision in collision um, this one right here you want to select overlap all dynamic compile this save this and now if you drag this in and move it somewhere and then uh, you move your character you can walk through it and it's blue so that's cool but what we want to happen is when the player touches it, it shows a browser. So to do this, we're using a widget again. If you remember from the last video, which I don't know, uh, if what a widget is is basically like a user interface. So it's like a something that shows on screen. So we want a browser to show when I touch that. So let's go. Let's just create it here. Why not? We don't need to be organized. Um, we'll call this. Uh, show Google because I guess Google's a good website right and then open this um, take um, in this side scroll down to advanced I think no it's not advanced is the user created no it's one of these we'll find it It's under experimental. Drag web browser into the uh, the thing, and what you can do to make this always full screen is press this button here and take the one that looks like a full screen. Then set all these values to zero because uh, it's offset, so we don't want to be offset at all. So it'll just take out the full screen. Then what you want to do is just set the URL to like. Uh, whatever you want. I'm saying it to Google. I'm pretty sure you don't have to do the HTTPS colon slash slash, but um, should work with that. There. So, 
now go back to the website um, the actor we made before and go to the event graph and now we want event begin overlap so when the player touches it we're going to create a widget and on the widget we'll have the show google and we'll just add this to viewport and like that so now if we go over here uh... It's, see the loading yep there's google and uh, shift f1 to remove your mouse and you'll see like i can search um, youtube maybe not i don't know uh... yeah i can uh... like the unreal the unreal cousins comes up with some of my videos you know uh, yeah so it's pretty cool this is basically just google now though because we can't get out of here um, because well i just made it take up the full screen so there's no way to get back to our game so let's make it so that we can uh... we'll create a offset bottom by 100 so that there's a little bit of room on, actually let's hit the 200 and then or 150 yeah it looks good then take a button and do the same thing with the button set all the values to zero except for the top one which will be like that yeah something like that and then so on this button get drag text onto it so that the button can say something and make it say um, back and then um, when this button is pressed you can scroll down to the on clicked press plus on the on clicked and then when it say when it's clicked we're going to get all widgets of class so itself which is uh, show google and remove from parent okay so now if we press play and we go up to here and we have google we can say like anything we want really and then we can just be like back and yeah that's pretty cool okay so now we probably want to make it so that when we touch the this it it shows our mouse because we don't want to it doesn't automatically show your mouse as you can see my mouse is still locked when I'm right here like I'm controlling the game not this so to do that we'll um, I think it's like flip-flop yeah flip-flop and then uh, set mouse Cap set viewport capture uh, it's not that wait hold on I'm gonna check real quick okay yeah I got it so it here set show mouse and you want to make sure this this box by default will be checked and you should usually leave it checked but for now uncheck it and get that and then um, control C and control V this block so we can do it down here duplicate it and then set this one as check or I'm sorry actually set this one as check and then for these drag out from the target and say get player controller and do that for the other one too yeah like that and now when we press onto the block see our mouse shows so that's pretty cool and we can press back as well and I'm just gonna fix that widget real quick because this is slightly too low uh, that should be better let's try that again yeah see now we can search google and say uh, hello and then yeah, yeah we get all this and then we can say go back and that's just uh, oh I, it won't take my mouse again because 
uh, we need to make it so that when we hit the on back button, it goes back to locking our mouse. So go to uh, where was that? Here, and just copy all this stuff again. And I believe if we just paste it over here again, it should work. Uh, so let's see. When we hit the back button, yeah. When we hit the back button, our mouse should lock again. So basically, we walk in here and we got Google. We can press back and uh, we still can't lock. Uh, hold on, I'll look into this. Yeah, so I think we just don't need the flip-flop there. Here we can just say uh, remove from parent and then set mouse cursor to unchecked and get this. And uh, Set mouse cursor, you just, uh, you just have to uncheck this. And yeah, it's that. So Let's see if this works. Now, we go up to this blue block. It'll show us Google. We can press back, and it locks us in again. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And yeah. And actually, what I'm going to do is uh, we didn't need the flip flop over here, actually, either. I'm sorry about that. Um, we should set mouse cursor, show mouse cursor to yes for this one and we don't need this and now everything is the way it should be so we get a player we walk into this we see google we can press back we can lock ourselves we can go back in here again and we see our mouse we can do whatever we want here like i don't know um, but yeah that's the basic idea i hope you like this video you can do a lot more with this obviously but for now it's just like a basic how to get a browser into the unreal engine Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and if you have any other topics you want me to talk about, you can just put those in the comments of this video, and I'll just try to figure out how to do it.